my name is Liz Lenjo. Uh, I'm an advocate of the High Court. I practice intellectual property and entertainment law. Um, I recently started my own uh, IP law firm. So it's basically a boutique law firm because we specialize in intellectual property, entertainment and sports law. Um, I'm myself and my partner, her name is Sarah Ochoada. She's a sports lawyer and she's the first African to ever have an international LLM in sports law. So that's our niche. Um, intellectual property is a very green area in Kenya right now and um, it has very few lawyers specializing in it. So for us, we felt like we are in a better place to be in this space because of our different exposure in the entertainment industry. Myself, I am a former model. Uh, I also used to act and sing. And uh, with that exposure, I came to see how there was so much um, lack of expertise in terms of just negotiating contracts, you know, best practice, and also the law itself. Um, the Kenyan law has very little, or, you know, there's, there's basically some lacuna in it. And because of that, now, you know, we decided let's start our own law firm and also help grow the body of intellectual property law in the creative industries. Um, so we deal with fashion law, technology law, you know, just helping startups from the basic commercial law aspects to intellectual property as well because startups are very heavy on intellectual property. But our challenge is our uh, people in the startup space are not sure about what is intellectual property in the first place, why do I need it? Um, and also the challenge has been because we function for so long without th those kind of laws, without embracing intellectual property laws, you know, now people are like, so why, why do I need it? We do, myself and, and my uh, partner, we do a lot of intellectual property roundtables. Um, most of them are pro bono. So we just have events and, and bring you know, young people together, talk about intellectual property, tell them you know, um, some, what the law is informing people about the IP rights. You know, it's a constitutional right now in Kenya uh, from the constitution of 2010. So intellectual property equals proprietary rights. So you know, intellectual property is your shamba, basically. So people need to understand that. So we try and spread that gospel and tell people, okay, you have an idea, well and good, but don't just go and start telling everyone about this fabulous idea because intellectual property doesn't you know, just protect an idea. You need to first sit down and put your idea together and then you know, see someone to help you, preferably a lawyer because of the confidentiality. Then I see what can I bring back home? What can I help change the game? Because I want to be a game changer for sure. And eventually, my, the results of my labor will be seen eventually. But for now, it's just doing the little things to make sure that we help grow the industry, you know, help grow our music, our film, gaming. You know, we have a lot of gamers now. You know, yeah. we recently, Kenya recently had a, Andrew Kagia, you know, yeah. had the first mm -hmm. Kenyan game, you know, up there. Mm -hmm. I think people are actually calling it the first, but I know of other companies that have been doing games as well. Yeah. Maybe not with the same hype. So right now it's being referred to as the first Kenyan human, yeah. but there have been others in the space. But I, I guess the challenge of course becomes you know, the legal infrastructure. You know, there are so many things that we are not doing right, and it's very easy for us to be taken advantage of. So, you know, I feel like I'm trying my best to blog about it, but you know, Kenyans, yeah. <laughs> you Kenyans, Kenyans are Kenyans. Kenyans. <laughs> you know, um, so we also now as a farm, as an individual, we're trying to see how we can package it more appealing because as long as you do not understand intellectual property then it will be very easy for you to be you know shortchanged to be undercut I myself as a creator I can do something else outside just waiting for Msaada yeah, and help grow my art mm -hmm. and, and pushing on, then you will attract the sponsorship. You know, and you have to make yourself that brand so that you can coach these international brands to support you. Yeah. No corporate wants to touch, you know, something that's yet to be known. And it can only be known once yourself have immersed yourself in it. You've, you know, you're married to this idea of this product that you're creating. And then now you know, the international brands can come and say, oh, will give you some money in exchange of XYZ. Yeah. Then again, when that happens now, 
you also need to be smart. If you get into a bad deal, you could lose everything. You know. Hi, I'm Liz Lenjo and I'm an intellectual property and entertainment lawyer and I'm a visionary.